Hi everybody and once again welcome to Punkers Search Echelon Tutorials and uh, this is the continuation of our videos that are being uh, made on uh, IGCSC Maths and the topic is indices. We have already covered some two videos of it. This is I suppose the third one on the same topic. So let us get started with. So this is uh, for IGCSC and uh, yeah, it's for IGCSC maths topic is indices and as you know I am referring to the David Rainer book Uh, the fourth edition. Okay. So we were doing exercise number twelve, which is uh, connected to indices, and we have completed forty questions in that. So this is in continuation to that. So now we are going to start with question number forty-one. Okay. So here we go. So today's first question, question number 41 is 10y square divided by a 4y. 10y square divided by a 4y. Now this will be, now this can again be written this way also, 10y square divided by a 4y. Okay. And this 10 and 4, the numbers can be divided uh, separately to make it, uh, uh, let us say, 5 by 2. Okay. It will cut and become 5, which will become 2, so 5 by 2. And this is y square upon y, that will be y raised to 2 minus 1. Okay. Here we are using the laws of indices. And this happens to be 5 upon 2, y raised to 1. There is no need of writing this 1, so you can straight away write 5 by 2 y. This is the answer for 41. Question number 42. 42 is 8a times 4a cube 8a multiplied by 4a cube so again the numbers you have to deal with separately so 8 fours are 32 and a raised to 1 and a raised to 3 when you multiply out because the bases are set will become a raised to 1 plus 3 this works out to 32 a raised to 4 question number 43 43 question says 2x the whole square 2x the whole square times 3x the whole cube okay now here you don't be in a hurry to multiply out this 2 and 3 straight away okay first you deal with this bracket so this will be 2 square that will be 4 and this x square will be x square multiplied by now i'm not putting bracket okay because the bracket has been removed by writing this two square as four and this will be same way it will be three square so nine and x cube uh, sorry three cube three cube will be three three are nine three are 27 okay so this will work out to 27 and x cube okay now this if you want to work out this will be 27 times four okay so 27 times 4 would be 7 fours are 28, 2 carried 4 twos are 8, 8 plus root 10, so 108. So numbers you have to multiply separately and x squared into x cube will work out to x raised to 2 plus 3, that is a 5. This is the answer. Okay. Now let us go for the next one, that is 44. Question number 44. It says that 4z raised to 4, 4z raised to 4 multiplied by z raised to minus 7. Okay. Again, here you have to deal with the numbers separately. So this is 4 and there's a 1 over here. So 4 ones are 4 and z raised to 4 plus minus 7 is minus 7. So 4 minus 7. So this will work out to 4. Z raised to 4 minus 7 is nothing but minus 3. Now, if you don't want a negative index, you can write this as 4, 1 upon z raised to 3, or just 4 upon z raised to 3. Okay, that was question number 44. Question number 45. 
it is 6 x raised to minus 2 and uh, divided by a 3 x raised to square 3 x square now here be careful there is not a bracket in this 6x okay 6x is not in the bracket so you have to keep 6 isolated this 3 is isolated so 6 divided by 3 the numbers you deal with them separately so 6 divided by 3 will make it 2 okay now we are left with only the variables so x raised to minus 2 divided by x raised to 2 will be x raised to minus 2 minus a 2 this will work out to 2 x is to minus 4 and if you don't want the negative index this will be 2 upon x is to 4 okay. that was 45 question number 46 it is 5 by cube divided by a 2 y is to minus 2 okay this can be again written as 5 upon 2 the division of the numbers we are doing separately 5 upon 2 and y raised to 3 minus of minus 2. This will work out to 5 by 2 will remain as it is. And this will work out to y raised to 3 plus 2. And it's to minus is plus. And 3 plus 2 is nothing but 5. So this is the answer. 47. It's uh, x square raised to let's see this properly so tiny 3 by 2 i'm not sure whether it is 3 by 2 or 1 by 2 assume that it is 3 by 2 divided by x raised to 1 by 3 root raised to 3 I think this has to be 1 by 2 okay let me make it 1 by 2 right so this is the question now if you work out this first you will have to do this x is to m whole is to n is equal to x is to mn so this will work out to x raised to 2 times 1 by 2 divided by x raised to now work out this bracket 1 by 3 into 3 1 by 3 into 3 this is the first step second step x raised to this 2 2 cuts you get x raised to 1 divided by 3 3 cuts get x raised to 1 basically it is x divided by x which is nothing but 1 the answer has to be 1 for this that was 47th let me go to 48 question number 48 it says 7 w raised to minus 2 uh, times 3 w raised to minus 1 again here numbers you have to deal with separately 7 3s are 21 and uh, w raised to minus 2 plus or minus 1 okay. so this will work out to 21 w raised to this will be minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 so 21 into w raised to minus 3 or you can write this as 21 upon w raised to 3 if you don't want a negative index that was 48 49 is 2n the whole raised to 4 and divided by 8n raised to 0 so this will be 2n raised to 4 2n the whole raised to 4 so you will have to do this 2 raised to 4 separately so 2 2s are 4 4 4s are 16 so this works out to 16 and this is n raised to 4 so n raised to 4 but i am not putting bracket because the bracket has been removed divided by 8 and you know anything raised to 0 is 1 so 8 into n raised to 0 will be 1 8 into 1 this works out to 16 n raised to 4 divided by 8 only now here you have, you have only the number okay or if you want you can put this n raised to 0 again instead of 1 so 16 divided by 8 will be 2 
and n raised to 4 divided by n raised to 0 will be n raised to 4 minus 0, which is nothing but n raised to 4 only. So this will be 2 n raised to 4. Answer will be 2 n raised to 4. And the uh, 50th one, the last one of this exercise is uh, 4 x raised to 3 by 2 divided by a 2 x raised to 1 by 2. This will be now 4 divided by 2 will be 2 and x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So this will be 2 into x raised to now 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 will be 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 by 2. This will be equal to 2 x raised to a y. Okay. Or you can just write 2 x. So that was the 50th question. And with this, we end our exercise 12 on indices. But then you have one more exercise that is exercise 13 on indices, which we will start in the next video perhaps. Okay. Till then, goodbye. Take care all of you. And if you happen to like my video, please subscribe my channel. Bye. Take care all of you.